All right, today we're gonna to work with Figma and I'm gonna show you how to make this flower that I saw on the internet and I didn't like it, so I did a little bit of customization on it. Step one, let's select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle. I'm gonna select the color, gonna go with the purple, like that. We're gonna add here a gradient and I'm gonna select this one and drag it down to make it dark. And of course, bring the opacity all the way up to 100%. Now I'm gonna need a specific dark color for this from the background. So I'm gonna select the background and here you can see the hex code of the background color. I'm gonna press Ctrl C to copy paste, select the circle, go back to the gradient. And I'm gonna select this color here and let's go to the hex code, press Ctrl V, enter, and now we get the same exact background color. We're gonna go up to the linear and change up to angular. I'm gonna select the dark one, actually this is the light, so I'm gonna go to the dark, bring it up here somewhere, and I'm gonna put the light here, and we're gonna need another purple, I'm gonna press and hold out to drag this purple, I'm gonna put it somewhere here. We're gonna customize it a little bit later. Okay, I'm gonna click on X, press and hold out, drag it down, also press Shift to isolate. Make sure both circles intersect, press and hold Shift, rotate it in the opposite direction. Let's select both, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, press and hold Shift, rotate it 90 degrees. Let's select all, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, press and hold Shift, let's rotate 45 degrees. Great. And now we're gonna need to rearrange these circles. Press Control Shift plus right bracket to bring it up. Same thing with this, bring it up. And you go all the way round and round until it's gonna look something like this. Now we're gonna rearrange a little bit the gradient, so I'm gonna select all of them. Let's go to the gradient fill, and here we can play around with the gradient. So for example, if I pull this, you can see how the dark side is gonna go, so I'm gonna need to put it all the way to the right, and I can also play around with these, basically the center point, see that? This area is pretty good. Select all, right click, group selection. Now I'm gonna create a rectangle, Let's select it and make sure to intersect it. I'm gonna send this to the back, Control shift plus left bracket, select both, right click, use a mask, press and hold out to drag it down to create a duplicate and press and hold shift to rotate it in the opposite direction. And we are gonna, boom. And this is how you make this gradient flower in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.